The brain health intervention I will be talking about today is fucoidin. To begin with, what is fucoidin? Fucoidin is a sulfated polysaccharide commonly found in brown algae, but it can also be found in other species of seaweed, seagrasses, and echinoderms. The composition of fucoidin is dependent on the specific species it comes from, when it is harvested, and how it is extracted. So this picture shows the type 1 and type 2 of common backbone chains in brown seaweed fucoidin. The R groups can vary depending on the species it comes from, and this image basically shows how fucoidin can have a structure that varies greatly and be very complex, but they can have a similar backbone. One property fucoidins exhibit is an anti-inflammatory property. An inflammation model in rats showed that fucoidin from nine species of brown algae inhibited leukocyte or white blood cell recruitment. The mechanism behind fucoidin's anti-inflammatory property is that it reduces NF-kappa B binding activity. This is a protein complex that transcribes DNA, and this complex is activated in response to factors such as stress, cytokines, and free radicals. NF-kappa B is a crucial inflammation factor and prolonged activation is linked to inflammatory diseases such as arthritis and asthma, as well as cancer. The study I will be talking to was published this year in 2020, and it's the potential beneficial actions of fucoidin in brain and liver injury, disease, and intoxication. The conclusion reached by this study was that fucoidin does have neuroprotective capabilities. It is beneficial to the brain and liver when injury or disease occurs. However, it is accepted that fucoidin shows somewhat limited potency in the liver. Further optimization of fucoidin derivatives may allow it to treat various ne neurological disorders in the future, and it was found to be very effective in animal models of brain injury and neuronal degeneration. This diagram shows how the body responds when fucoidin is administered immediately after a brain disease or injury such as a TBI. A TBI is a traumatic brain injury that can cause neuronal death and damage and even further complications. Fucoidin re reduces the inflammatory response in brain diseases by inhibiting microglial activation. This significantly decreases neuronal and astrocyte degeneration because production of pro-apoptotic agents are diminished and antioxidant responses of the cell are improved. Fucoidin also prevents leukocyte or white blood cell adhesion to the brain by blocking P-selectin. P-selectin is a protein that plays a role in white blood cell recruitment to the site of injury during inflammation. Fucoidin blocks the entry of leukocytes from the bloodstream into the brain tissue as well, which all helps contribute to the reduction in inflammation. Fucoidin has also shown anti-cancer potential. In a mouse model, administration of fucoidin extract reduced tumor growth and increased production of immune cells, including natural killer cells in the spleen. Natural killer cells act in the first line of defense in the immune system to remove infected or cancerous, cancerous cells. The main anti-cancer mechanisms of fucoidin are immune cell activation and increased production of anti-cancer cytokines. Cytokines are cell signaling molecules that aid in cell-to-cell -cell communication and immune responses. Fucoidin also may induce apoptosis, which is programmed cell death by activating caspases 8 and 9, which are both enzymes involved in the cell death pathway. A few clinical trials have combined fucoidin with other anti-cancer agents, and they have suggested positive results. However, more clinical trials are necessary before it can be used for this purpose. The second study I'll be talking about was also published this year in 2020, and it is the microRNA expression after ingestion of fucoidin, a clinical study. A little bit of background about microRNAs. They are small non-coding RNA molecules that serve as key regulators of many biological processes. They function in RNA silencing and post-transcriptional regulation of gene expression. MicroRNAs involved in the normal functioning of eukaryotic cells. So the dysregulation of microRNA has been a common indicator of cancer, inflammation, and other health problems. This is a placebo-controlled double-blind pilot study that was performed on healthy volunteers who either took one gram of fucoidin or one gram of a placebo. The levels of isolated microRNAs were analyzed afterwards. So the pathway analysis using a data analysis tool predicted 29 different pathways and processes that were associated with fucoidins. Fucoidin was also able to change regulatory microRNA in healthy individuals. 
and it confirmed previous studies that fucoidin has beneficial effects on inflammation, the immune system, and brain function. It provided evidence for its anti-cancer effects as well. They show that fucoidin is involved in numerous pathways in the body, for example, in the BDNF signaling pathway and the circadian rhythm pathway. BDNF, otherwise known as brain-derived neurotrophic factor, is important for neuronal growth and survival, regulating neurotransmitters and neuronal plasticity. It's active in areas of the brain important for learning and memory. The molecular mechanisms are unknown, however, and they require further research. Fucoidin also has neuroprotective properties if administered soon after neurological injury by preventing inflammation and oxidative stress. There is plenty of potential for further research with fucoidin. There are numerous preclinical studies in animal models, but not in humans. So there could be more clinical studies to observe the effects of fucoidin on brain health and function relating to neurological diseases. Also, the complex structure of fucoidin is not fully understood yet, and it is difficult to determine the relationships between its structure and activity, so this could be another area of future research as well. How to use in safety. The highest recommended dose is 4 grams daily, and fucoidic content in seaweed varies, but the highest content is generally observed late in fall and early in winter. It can either be taken as a supplement in pill form, as shared in the picture on the right, or taken as a dry seaweed in its natural form. The composition of fucoidin, however, can change during the extraction process. So when you take it in its dry form, seaweed is also rich in other minerals and compounds that might increase the bioactivity of the fucoidin. So this is another factor to consider. Um, fucoidin is an anticoagulant, so precautions should be taken when taken with other anticoagulants, such as warfarin. And these are my references.